Holy smokers guys, it's Levi here. I got my fishing hat on and you guys know what that means. We're gonna be talking about some fishing today. So let's go ahead and reel those fish in and don't get caught because I'm gonna give you guys a tip that I have not talked about on this channel before. Today I'm gonna be talking about um, unverified senders um, and this specifically applies to Microsoft Outlook. Um, so if you work in an organization where um, you use Microsoft Outlook or if you use Outlook.com, or if you have an Outlook.com email address, a Hotmail.com email address, an MSN.com email address, a Live.com email address, basically any type of Microsoft email address, or if your corporation uses um, Office 365, um, you wanna definitely pay attention to this video because this will be useful information to help you guys detect phishing emails um, and it's an exclusive tip that I have not included in any of my videos before so you guys are the lucky ones that get to learn this information all right so I found an article on bleepingcomputer.com today um, that talks about this unverified sender um, feature that Microsoft is releasing basically um, Microsoft is going and releasing this feature to organizations and if your organization has this feature turned on when Microsoft pushes it out to them um, you'll see an image that looks like this it says this message did not pass sender authentication and it'll have like a little question mark next to it um, because Microsoft has determined that this message could be a phishing email and hint hint wink wink that's gonna be an obvious sign for you guys to look for um, to give you guys a red flag that, hey, this is likely a phishing email. So even if the email looks super legit, you guys should have red flags going off in your head. This is currently being rolled out to the Outlook desktop client. Um, as from a Microsoft article that I read, it looks like the Outlook.com and all the, all the personal email accounts are getting have been getting this release since July, so it's very possible that um, if you have a personal email account with Microsoft, you already are seeing this feature. I personally looked at mine, and I didn't see this feature yet, so it might still be rolling out for those, but I, I just wanted to share this tip with you guys because I haven't shared this before, and this is just another method that you guys can take to help prevent phishing attacks on yourself. If you see something like this, you definitely want to have that red flag go off in your head and make sure that you're doing all the other things that we've talked about in my previous phishing emails. Um, you know, don't click on the link, make sure the sender looks like they're legit, um, look at the title, look for misspellings in the email. Um, if there's an attachment from somebody you're not expecting an attachment from, then it's, it's likely probably a phishing email, don't open it. Um, and just be careful and take the extra time to think before you click or do anything. So I hope you guys learned a lot from this. For those of you guys that are new, I release a new video every month talking about my top three phishing emails that I've seen throughout the month. Um, I currently have a video from September of 2019 that I'll put a card up above here. And then October is almost over as of this video, so I'll be having a video coming out soon with that. So keep tuned to my channel so you can check that out hit that notification bell, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. By doing those actions, you'll help get my content promoted up in the YouTube algorithm to help more people like you um, to be more secure and not have these terrible cybersecurity things happen to them, such as getting reeled in by a fisherman like me. I don't want you guys to get fished and I want you guys to share this content with all of your friends and family and, and all that so that they don't get fished either. So do me a favor and go ahead and click the subscribe button, hit that like button and hit that notification bell to promote my content up. Um, also, if you guys can leave a comment down below, I, can, I would gladly help or answer whatever questions that you have. Um, I thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.